you can appreciate I'm a woman of a certain age, 79. We didn't have the options that young girls have today. We were restricted to being a secretary, social worker, uh, nursing, uh, teacher, uh, uh, psychologist, not even a psychologist, social worker is probably as best as you could put it. And um, so I did the traditional thing of going through nursing. But it, in those days, it wasn't what a woman was, it who she married that counted. So I married a dentist, big deal. Then in turn, so again, when I finished uh, choosing careers, I realized that I was exceptionally good at what I was doing. I was administrator of the cancer clinic at the Jewish General Hospital when I finished, when I say my nursing career. And the reason I left was because of the fact that um, it was so traumatic to watch children die and to watch the reaction of parents that I felt I needed a career out of the support system. So in turn, I then um, got a, uh, within a commerce degree of, um, of being able to work within the dental field because again, through the um, uh, association of my ex, that in turn, I um, acquired skills that were incredible and I, uh, to make a long story short, I worked myself up to be executive director of, uh, in Canada for an international firm out of Japan, Shofu Dental Corporation. Fitness uh, came again. Everything has fallen in my lap by God's will, if you want to put it. I, as I say, I've been, because of my ne needy body, I've been working in, the, uh, in order to be able to have a life I have been working in the fitness business uh, for the past 60 years when functional movement in Europe was normal. North American people didn't even know about it. All they wanted to do was uh, to operate on me when I was a child because that was the only solution they had. My parents said, no, this is what God gave us and this is what we're keeping. We'll throw in the water and let her swim, but we're not uh, uh, letting her go under surgery because 95% of back surgeries fail. It's a, it's a known fact. So my parents saved me from that. So I was always f looking for the fact of how to work my body to be functional. And I've always succeeded. God had always given me the opportunity to come with ideas from one source or another, but I did it. That's the key thing. Then um, when I was at the Imperial Palace in Tokyo in Japan, my, uh, I was engaged to be married and my buddy was dying. And I made an acute decision. I didn't want to be out of Toronto under these circumstances. So I decided to call it quits and I handed in my resignation. So while Prime Minister Pierre Trudeau was walking in Ottawa, you know, contemplating his decision during the snowstorm, I made my decision in Tokyo and Japan. And the rest is history. I knew I had something very specific to sell something to give to people and many individual needy individuals were falling between the cracks because they people don't understand the bodies they don't understand how to make the body work for them than against them and what has happened like with no due disrespect to anybody so they'll go to let's say a, a therapy book page eight number c do this i don't i read the body i put them on the floor I judge their movement, I judge their needs, and based on what I see and how I see the body move, I create individual programs using my techniques in order to make them functional. And that has been my key success, but more importantly, what made it, I think the selling point here was the fact that I created one-on-one -on -one therapy in the home or office. And I also did golf fitness and have worked in various capacities. I've been on the Acura Golf Show, uh, you know, with Lauren Rubenstein, who's a very well-known golf journalist and demonstrator. Well, first and foremost, you know, the parents have to take control of a child at an early age and teach them properly. That's where the key issue is. And I refer to that as a go-go stage. In other words, whatever you do to have a healthy body at the youngest age possible, it's what you bring into the aging process that counts. So it means nutrition, uh, it means exercise, and in turn, the big three R's, rest, relaxation, and relationships, and cultivating a sense of joy. That, to me, is the formula of success. And when you do that right at 
individually on at each stage, I say the go-go stage first, what happens? You retire the slow-go stage, which is the 50, 60, and 70-year-olds who in turn uh, don't even understand how they got to be that age so quickly. So when you bring that kind of concept into that, that means that you are alive, you have a, uh, a body that's functioning for you, and in turn, you're enjoying life because that's what it's all about. Money in the, uh, in the bank doesn't mean a thing, but when you can do the things you want to do and participate in life and have a life, an interesting, rewarding life, that says it all as far as I'm concerned. And then, like as I am in my age, we call the slow go, the no-go stage, you keep on, I say, keeping it in the veins. We don't know what any day brings, but all I know is, thank God, another day has come, and I, and I challenge myself because I think life is to be lived. You celebrate life. Life is meaningful, um, and you have to have a purpose, and you must embrace it and enjoy it and um, just make great things happen for yourself and for everybody else.